Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, in this video, inshallah, we're going to learn how to install the ability to type Arabic um, and Urdu. Uh, there may be easier ways of doing it, but just to be thorough, I'll go the long way around. First of all, to add just simply Arabic and Urdu. If we go to, it's actually in control panel, but the quick way of getting to it is if we just type in the search region, then the program we're looking for, or the window we're looking for, will come here, region and language. So we press that. And what we want to uh, change is keyboards and languages up here on the top. So when we go to keyboards and languages, it says keyboards and other input languages. To change your keyboard or input language, click change keyboard. So let's click change keyboards. All right. By default, what we should have, if we're in the UK, is English United Kingdom. Sometimes we might have um, the United States there, which doesn't matter too much, but it can sometimes cause problems. Um, so what we can do is change the default input language to English United Kingdom, then we can remove any other ones. Now what we want to do to add Arabic and Urdu is to press Add. Now when we go to Add, we add Arabic. We can add Saudi Arabia, so whichever one, Saudi Arabia being the most common one. We can press Add Saudi Arabia keyboard, and we can use the standard one of these two, either of these two. So we'll just put um, Arabic 102, just for try. So that's that added, and then we can add the Urdu as well. If we scroll all the way down, if we use Urdu, go to Urdu, press the keyboard, and then add the Urdu keyboard, and that will be done. Now, once we press apply, you'll see on the bottom right hand corner this will appear. This is where we can change the languages. Well, my one's got a bit of a problem, it displayed some weird languages for some, some reason, but these are the main languages that we're looking for. <coughs> okay. So that's how to install um, the Arabic and the Urdu keyboards. Now there is one extra thing we can press OK uh, and uh, that will press OK again. That's that done. Now there's one other thing which we might like um, and that is like for example if we want to type Urdu for example what we will do is we'll go here and press Urdu. But the question is which um, button on the keyboard corresponds to which letter so other than memorizing the layout what we can do is we can use the on-screen keyboard to find the on-screen keyboard again we can just search here we can type keyboard for example keyboard and it will find for us the on-screen keyboard now what the on-screen keyboard will do is it will give us the ability to type from the keyboard using our mouse so what we can do is place the cursor where we want to type make sure that the language that we want is selected and then here we can see all the keys so if we want to type for example Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Ramim Ha Meem and then we will have Dal somewhere, we will just have to look for it, we will get used to looking Inshallah Muhammad there for example um, put that back at the bottom and then we can search uh, we can do the same with Arabic if we keep the on screen keyboard we change it to Arabic yeah so we have the you know Al Islam for example Al Yeah, for example. Okay, so that's one useful trick. The other one, if you're serious about typing and you're going to be typing paragraphs and pages, the easiest solution that I have found is to use the phonetic keyboard. Now you can download an Urdu and an Arabic phonetic keyboard from the internet. The Urdu one can be downloaded from. Okay, we change it to English again. Let me download it from urdu.ca If we go to urdu.ca we'll have this page which has all the necessary information of how to type Urdu. So here we have 
an Urdu font. We'll deal with that afterwards. For the time being, the most important thing is Urdu Sauti, i.e. Phonetic Kaledi Takhti, whatever it's called. So when you press that, now we'll give us instructions as well, which we're going through here. Um, but then we just download and run. Then you'll start downloading Urdu Phonetic Keyboard. It's already installed my machine, so um, we'll just try to reinstall it. It'll probably tell us that it, this, it's already installed. Now let's see what happens. Preparing to install. Yeah, there is said uh, this already exists, but on your machine, inshallah, it will complete the installation. Um, and then that will be installed. Right, the Arabic one, I couldn't find it on the net, so I uploaded it myself. To find it, we'll go to foreshared.com. Inshallah, all the links I will try to put them in the notes section below so you won't have to do all the Google searching. Once we get to foreshared.com, we can search for a file which is called a r a hyphen p h n once we search for that hopefully only one result should come up here we go it's only 320 kilobytes we can download that from foreshared Uh, oh no. Okay, the file was deleted. Okay, what I'll do is I'll fix that and post the link in the notes section, comment section, inshallah. Okay, in any case, what we will do is now we have to find those um, two programs. They will be again probably in documents or downloads, more like. Uh, here we have, here, this is the Arabic phonetic, the one that I was trying to download. We should have that downloaded. When we click on that again, we have to have WinRAR installed from beforehand. We'll open Arabic Phonetic and we'll press on the setup. This will install again on my computer. It's already installed, so it will give us the keep an eye out on the bottom for the installation. The keyboard already exists, but on your machine that should complete and install the keyboard. Okay, that's that done, inshallah. Now we need to go back to where we were before. Meaning, we go in here. And we type in region general language keyboards and languages change keyboards and here we should have now now we can go in and add those phonetic keyboards sometimes we might find on our machine that it's already added itself yeah, so let's go to add Arabic Saudi Arabia keyboard here we have Arabic phonetic okay so we add Arabic phonetic then we go down to Urdu and then we add Urdu phonetic okay we press ok and we'll, we'll have here now two Arabic keyboards Arabic 102 Arabic phonetic Urdu and Urdu phonetic so it's to say what uh, uh, if we apply that then what we'll see will happen is here we'll have um, you know when we click on Arabic we'll have two options here Arabic one oh you know however many options there are there phonetic 101 to get rid of all those complications what we can do is just remove the Arabic 102 remove the normal Urdu yeah, so we have only three keyboards English Arabic phonetic Urdu phonetic apply that press OK Press OK and inshallah everything will be fine. So now we have Arabic and we'll have to type in the Arabic. Um, everything will be A is for Alif. Sorry, we have to select Arabic. A is for Alif. It should be. Sorry, this is a problem with my computer which shouldn't happen with yours. A is for Alif. L is for Lam. Scene is for S is for scene, and we can see properly through the on screen keyboard. Okay, if we type assalam, so this is the phonetic keyboard, so we can get used to that, inshallah. So that's how to install the different 
different keyboards um, and the last thing that you could do is here Urdu font nasab kijiye if we go to that then we can find a nice Urdu font which means the Urdu writing will look like traditional Urdu which we're used to like this okay and to do that we download Jameel Nuri Nastaliq and I'll leave the rest to you the instructions are there. Jazakumullah khairan.